Hello guys, my name is Anna and I'm from Ukraine and I vlog daily to keep you updated about the real life situation in my country during this awful war with Russia, but we will definitely win with your support and understanding. And uh, today my morning inspired my today's vlog. We did not have electricity at night and we did not have it early in the morning. And uh, have a look. Morning routine in Ukraine when you wake up 7 am if i'm not mistaken and it's still really a dark outside and no electricity no hot water and all of that stuff good morning i woke up somewhere at the middle of the night and we did not have electricity and then and in the morning i had to take my mom for a checkup to the hospital and it was 7 a.m when we woke up dark outside i don't know how about your climate zones but in ukraine it is dark at this time of uh, the year in the morning and it was pretty difficult to make tea to um, make makeup uh, because like it's dark and i had to use candles then i have opened the window and come close to the window and all of unusual life hugs that you need when you live in a country that suffers from russia terrorist attacks and russia is definitely a terrorist state because it uses electricity to uh, make people feel bad miserable and cause all the other problems in ukrainian society so how do these uh, Russian terrorists work? They destroy electrical power stations all over Ukraine, they cause a serious power shortage in the system and it also causes problems in countries that neighbor with Ukraine because Ukraine is a huge or was a huge electricity supplier. Then there are lots of things that we have to turn out. Uh, industry suffers greatly because the prices go up uh, and also uh, there are planned rolling uh, blackouts, rolling outages that are not 100% well planned. In some cities, uh, they turn off the electricity according to the schedule. For example, if they promise that from 4 a.m. to 8 a.m., it will be like that. In others, they do not follow the schedule very well. For example, in my city, it may be quite difficult to predict uh, when will the light come back. And uh, also for various uh, city lights, they don't work um, and uh, children, they cannot do their homework. Many rely on various electrical gadgets to fill the houses. So it causes lots of uh, problems. And also I want to show you how the districts of the city look when there is no electricity. It can also be dangerous, some robberies uh, um, become more uh, like I cannot say popular but they happen especially if the flats are abandoned or people are somewhere abroad because such things always inspire criminals too and uh, it can be really dark on the streets and there are a couple of accidents everywhere because of uh, total darkness and people do not always control well, well the, the streets around them and uh, it also very, very depressive. So have a look at one of uh, the districts uh, during the evening in Lutsk. So are you ready to experience Ukrainian darkness that is still full of light because we are going to win this war despite all the terrorist attacks of Russia. Now I'm standing close to the road, so I still have some light from the road, from the cars, but we are going to dive into the darkness. Are you ready? Okay, you will tell me I'm a weird person filming darkness in the dark, but you can see our first snow. Perhaps I will record a separate video about snow. By the way, it looks very <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> and this is how a dark district looks like. You see light in the houses, but this because people use candles, various uh, lamps uh, that work from batteries and other stuff. And for example, back in there, we already have some light but with the first snow it looks really interesting and the skies you see they look pretty poetic but this is how an ordinary for ukraine blackout looks like because of russian terrorists so this is how it looks without flashlight really dark the skies look more beautiful without flashlight i will you compare two of these videos and in there some electricity already you see 
the difference in brightness. But I'm proud of Ukrainian people that always know how to adapt. And no matter what this orcs do, they will never overcome us. This is how a generator works to produce electricity in a totally dark district. The dog has um, a chain that is with light, so you can see him in the darkness. The stuff that you put on the neck of the dog is bright, and people with candles. And now, very quickly, we will look and see how people work with candles. Candles in the bakery. So, you see. We are totally adapted. By the way, this is a district where I have spent my childhood. My grandparents lived here. This is a schoolyard, not my school, but the one I have walked a little bit in. And people have some gadgets that help them save the light. And actually that's the street, but I doubt you can see it. I want to be positive in my vlogs, that's why I have to tell you that when you have your electricity back, when you have your light back, you feel really happy. Today we drank tea with my mom, we talked and we had that electricity all around, we had hot water running and we felt really happy and grateful for these conveniences that we have. It is only after you lose access, I don't know, to internet, to electricity that you start valuing these things that are usually um, like we take for granted and of course it's normal to take such things for granted in a civilized world but not when your neighbor lives in the stone age or in the dark ages as russia does and it tries to spoil global life by terrorizing the world but infrastructure is easier to rebuild than the brains of people that's why i'm really worried for russia not for ukraine Please like and share my videos as I see that the numbers drop. Thank you for becoming my patrons and buying me coffees and may electricity and light will always be in your houses. Slavo Ukraini.